This problem states if the sine of angle A is 15 over 17 and the measure of angle A lies between pi over 2 and pi, then we need to find the exact value of the tangent of A over 2. So I'm definitely going to need identities for the tangent of A over 2. And this identity has three different formats. Now notice we were given the sine of angle A. Do any of these formulas just have the sine of angle A in them? No, each of them also has the cosine of A. So which of these formulas should I use? They will all give me the correct solution. And it looks like the first version might be the hardest to use with this plus or minus the square root in there. So I'm either going to use version 2 or version 3. It really makes no difference which of these I use, but I'm going to pick version 2 because there's just one term in the denominator and sometimes that's easier to simplify than when you have two terms in the denominator. But before I can use this formula, I need to find the cosine of angle A. The method I prefer to use is draw my angle in standard position. The measure of angle A lies between pi over 2 and pi. Pi over 2 here, pi here, so my angle has to be in quadrant 2. So I'm going to draw my angle in quadrant 2. Here's angle A. Draw the little right triangle going down to the x-axis. This distance is x, this is y, and this is r. And since I know that the sine of angle A was given to be 15 over 17, the sine of angle A is y over r. r is always positive, so it's positive 17. So in this case, y is going to be positive 15. Does that look correct for an angle in quadrant 2? Yes. So now I need to find x. So we're going to do that using the Pythagorean theorem. x squared plus y squared equals r squared. We're looking for x. So x squared plus y squared is 15 squared equals r squared, which is 17 squared. x squared plus 225 equals 17 squared is 289. Subtracting 225 from both sides, I get x squared equals 289 minus 225 is 64. So x equals plus or minus the square root of 64, which is plus or minus 8. But we're in quadrant 2 here. What value is x? Is it positive or negative in quadrant 2? Since we go to the left of the y-axis, we know x is going to be negative. It's going to be negative 8. So now I can find the cosine of angle A which is x over r, so it is negative 8 over r, which is 17. So now I can use this formula up here. So I know that the tangent of a over 2 is going to equal 1 minus the cosine of a, that's negative 8 seventeenths, all divided by the sine of A, which we were given, is 15 over 17. So this is going to be 1 minus a negative, so that's plus 8 seventeenths over 15 seventeenths. And then how do we add fractions? We have to have a common denominator, so I'm going to have 17 as my common denominator. So I'm going to turn 1 into 17 17ths plus 8 17ths 
all divided by 15 seventeenths. Now, adding the fractions in the numerator, 17 plus 8 is 25 seventeenths. That's my fraction in the numerator. And how do we divide that by another fraction? When you divide fractions, you take the fraction in the numerator and multiply it by the reciprocal of the fraction in the denominator. What's the reciprocal of 15 seventeenths? It is 17 over 15. So now the tangent of a over 2 equals the 17s reduce and 25 and 15 both reduce by 5. 5 goes into 15 3 times. 5 goes into 25 5 times. So I get 5 times 1 is 5 over 1 times 3 is 3. So the tangent of a over 2 equals 5 thirds.